And so we've now um, configured some logic that will update each of our opportunities. Um, what we need to do now is that um, we need to take this updated opportunity and somehow store it in a way that it's ready to be updated later on. And so we'll walk through that process real quick and I'll just kind of uh, explain what I mean along the way. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go over here in the manager and click this open and we're going to make a new resource. And this resource is going to be a collection variable that stores our updated opportunities. And so the resource type will be variable. And I'm going to call this the updated opportunity collection. And the data type will be the second option here. It's going to be our record. And we are going to allow multiple values. And by checking this box, it turns this variable uh, resource into a collection. The, op or, or the object that we are going to use in this collection will be the opportunity record type or the opportunity object. And I'm going to press done. And so now that we've defined this new record collection variable, this one is separate from the uh, get records one. What we can do now is open up our assignment and we can add an assignment here. And what we can say is that we want to uh, use this updated opportunity collection. So I'm going to click this and put it in the variable, uh, the variable field, just like this. And I'm going to use the add operator. So you can see that because we're working with a record collection, we get um, some unique operators here. And I'm going to add. And what I'm going to add is the current item from the loop. And so I'm going to click the current item from the loop once. And you'll see the dot notation up here. I don't need to select any fields. I just want to add the entire item from the loop. And so once I have the loop through opportunities here with the dot notation, I can click um, you know, this white space on the assignment. And you'll see that the merge syntax fills in so that the value field is just we're adding the current item from the loop uh, where the loop's name is loop through opportunities. And if you click it again, uh, you'll see that the merge syntax pops up again and there's no dot. And we can uh, just click the white space again to make the uh, value kind of populate like this. And so what we're doing here is we are first updating the current item from the loop, uh, specifically the notes field on that item, to equal the opportunity notes field from our triggering opportunity. And then what we're doing is we are adding the current item from the loop with its updated value into a brand new collection that we called the updated opportunity collection. And so I can press done. And that's all we need to set up in our assignment. And so I'm going to connect our assignment back to our loop so that we kind of have uh, two arrows, one going to the loop that says or one going from the loop to the assignment that says for each item, and then one arrow coming back from the assignment to the loop. And this is kind of that looping functionality where it will, for each item that we found in our get related opportunities, it will go to the loop, it will go to the assignment, it will update the notes, and then add that record, that opportunity record, to that collection, and then go back to the loop to process the very next item. The final step here will be the um, after every item has been processed uh, element here in the loop. And so what we can do is go back to our toolbox, click open the elements tab, and now we can drag our update records to the canvas and just drop it there. And so I'm going to say update opportunities. Oh, I guess I already named something update opportunities. Um, update opportunity notes. Maybe update related opportunity notes. Yeah, that seems to work. And what we're going to pick here is we're, I guess we're using an update records. And so we're now uh, all at once going to update every single record that went through our loop. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use one of these selections here. It says how to find records to update and set their values. And we are going to uh, use the IDs and all the field values from a record or record collection. So this third option. And this is really simple to use because all we have to do is just click uh, the select records to update and um, use the updated opportunity collection. 
and that's it. And we'll press done. And then we're going to connect our loop to that update. And you can see that after the last item of the loop, we uh, go and update the records. And I'm going to press save. And so again, just to be clear what's happening, our flow kicks off on the opportunity object when a opportunity is updated, and specifically when the opportunity notes field is changed. It runs immediately, and then it goes and finds every single opportunity related to the same account. And we define that uh, here. And because we set this record up as a collection, Salesforce creates uh, kind of like a collection. So you can imagine that as like a cardboard box filled with little pieces of paper that represent each opportunity. The loop fires because we connected the get records to our loop. And in our loop, we referenced that get related opportunities collection. So we basically took the cardboard box of opportunities and we're like, here you go loop. This is what you got to work with. And the loop's like, okay, I understand. Perfect. And so inside the loop, uh, we defined our logic and I'll open that up here. And this logic basically just says, Hey loop for every opportunity in the cardboard box that we gave you, you're going to do two steps. The first thing you're going to do is for the current item in the loop. So one by one through each piece of paper for the current one, you're going to update the notes. And the way you're going to update the notes is by using the opportunity notes of the opportunity that kicked off our flow. And the loops like, okay, I understand that. And then the second thing that you're going to do loop is once you've done that update, you're going to take uh, that opportunity record and you're going to put it in a different cardboard box that we just made in this cardboard box, we called the updated opportunity collection. And so loop, you should be doing two things. You should update the notes, uh, take the opportunity out of the one box and put it in the second box when you're done. And the loops like, okay, I understand. And so with those two things done, um, you can then go on to the next opportunity. And I know this is kind of like a weird way to describe it. I'm, I'm very much personalizing what Salesforce does. Um, so then it's like, okay, loop, you've done all the opportunities. You're just going to repeat this a bunch of times. And once you finish, uh, you can go and just hand off all the records to this updated records and the loops like, okay, got it. And so then the updated records, uh, comes into the picture and is just like, Hey, I'm ready to update stuff. What cardboard box do you want me to update in Salesforce? And we say, Hey, use this updated opportunity collection to go and update everything in Salesforce. It's like, great. And that's it. So. I spent some extra time here going over loops because they're really important and they're really important that you understand. So I hope this was helpful. Um, we will continue in the next video by testing out this flow to make sure that it's looping and working the way we would expect.